We're gonna make it after a while. Do 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 do. Man, I love Rhoda, man, and Mary Tyler Moore, man. That shit is tight. It's your fucking boy, man. Once we rove 68th episode of this podcast and shit, man. Hope you having a fucking blessed day, wherever you be at. Day, night, in between. <laughs> Do the gradients. Yeah. So, this is the 68th um, episode. And, you know, some niggas be getting carried away with their shows and shit. They'd be like, this is the 68th episode. Might as well be anniversary from the time. It's like, come on, dude. Come on, man. You just started podcasting. And so did I. This is like week, like month. (laughs) You know, this is month two, dude, of podcasting, dude. Like niggas making it sound like anniversaries and shit. Whatever, dude. So, um. You know, I got the podcast rolling. I'm actually online right now. This is not mobile, dude. I'm at the hotel, and I'm just, like, going through fucking, um, man, I'm just going through some shit right here on the fucking web looking at data, and, uh, and I'm like, I, niggas, uh, he said, oh, no, I told him, I said, fuck that, get off the horn with her now, because he said, give me a few, I'm talking with my lady, and I was like, fuck that, get off the horn with her now, yeah, I remember this, um, so yeah, 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 yeah. oh shit, man, what's this, Facebook has some new portal shit, some NSA, DARPA, CIA shit, where they be spying on niggas in their homes. Oh, wow. This is interesting. It looks like a fish. Like, from... You know, this fish I'm looking... I'm looking... I'm looking at, man. Like, this reminds me of something from... um From the podcast I did the other night. Where it was... um <clears throat> It was about Mel's Well. It was... um It was about Mel's Well in eastern Washington state, and, and you know how, like, I was talking about, if you heard it, like, if you actually listened to it, because if you didn't, then obviously you don't fucking know what I'm talking about, right, um, but yeah, the being, the weird creature that came out of the sheet that was lowered into the time tunnel, (laughs) I mean, dude, listen, man, the world is insane, dog, I mean, even even if you're at the the even if you're in the bowels of the world's most ultra secret fucking agencies, it doesn't matter. Look, I'm gonna give you some names of some shows: Eureka, Fringe, Outer Limits, Stargate, SG One, Atlantis, um, Sliders, Quantum Leap. I mean, I can keep going, dude fucking Buck Rogers, he was, like, cryogenetically frozen in space for thousands of years, or whatever, dude, the show was dope, (laughs) um, I mean, it was a few hundred, but I was just saying, and I know the exact fucking metrics, but, you know, for a fact, I gotta pretend like I don't know, like, dude, he was, like, totally frozen for, like, a long time, um, was it hundreds, thousands, I don't know, shit, but, uh, yeah, so, What's interesting, dude, is that you have this, um, I'm trying to remember what we're talking about here. No, I'm joking. <laughs> you have this history, dude, of these, of, of, of this weird shit, right? And I mean, I'm talking to you about like the web and then I see this image and I'm like, oh, that looks like the being from Mel's well. <laughs> Mel's well is so nuts, dude. Like, it's just fucking sick, dude. (laughs) It's so mind-twisted that, like, if you fucking, if you read into it, you're just like, okay, I might need to take a day off to digest and absorb all this shit, because, um, yeah, paradigm shift, seeing new things never thought of before, huh, 
interesting. Might need to take a chill pill. Um, so this animal I just saw, which is supposed to be a fish, it reminds me of the being that came out of the sheep. <laughs> they said it's like an otter, like a seal, like some spiritual being that has these eyes that are so innocent and it's from another time space dimension and it communicates. It communicates with Mel and the natives and then it flops back into the time tunnel and then it comes back on occasion and has conversations but not directly it sends out some kind of frequency that can be heard through a boom box and even though it it emits these and it and it emanates these signals through its mind that goes to the boom box even the boom box data um the sounds rather they're not fully understood or comprehensible um they're just kind of sort of like kind of understood so you got (laughs) so they lower the sheep into the time tunnel and then the sheep dies after some um some some kicks and and some uh some resistance supposedly right but obviously it comes back to life because anything lowered into the time tunnel comes back to life in the parallel universe but it's dead. And then when they open it up, it's like it's like stone almost. It's like a it's like a gelatinous stone. It's like stone, but like malleable. It's like it's like uh the it's it's petrified like wood. But when you when you touch it, it it's like movable. Like you're like, oh I can move it. Weird. It's like breakable and like changeable like clay, like a play doh. Right, like Mr. Plato, um, Mr. Potato Plato head. <laughs> There's no such thing. Um, and you're just like bending these like parts, right? Okay, and then and then the sheep that's dead, like one of its internal organs starts to like move erratically, like flip flop, flip flip, 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 and you're like, whoa, alien! Like Sigourney Weaver, what's going on? And then you find out that once you take a a machete right, or some kind of, like, surgical instrument, and I don't know the Latin on this shit, Latin is just ridiculous, there's so many Latin phrases, but you take something sharp that's Latin and medical, or not, and you just, like, splice, and then you're like, whoa, I spliced open the the internal organ of this, a fucking sheep that's dead, that was lowered into a time tunnel, bro, a wormhole, and when we when we hoisted it out, the sheep somehow, some way, some seal like otter like weird flip floppy like it's got flippers, but it looks like I don't know a baby monkey seal otter chimp uh chicken hen ah man I don't know dude it's got like. It's got like so many different, it has so many different characteristics in terms of like what type of animal. It, basically, they're going through zoology with, 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 the, with the sensor lens, with the, with the lens sensor, with, with, a, with, with some movement, with the, with the laser pointer. And they're like, and it's just like every animal that exists. They're just like, it's a chicken, it's a hen, it's a rooster, it's a fucking this, it's a that, it's a primate, it's a fucking... Um, I don't even remember zoology at this point. It's, it's gone from my mind. It's a it's a rodent. It's a this. It's a it's a ferret. It's a mongoose. It's a whatever. What is is there? What is a bovine? It's bovine. What's bovine? Let's look it up. Hold on, we're online right here. Hold on, bovine. I should know this shit. I memorized all this shit when I was a kid. Bovine. Uh, it's a cattle. A fucking cattle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's cattle now. Dude, it's a sheep, it's an ox, it's a horse, it's a mox, it's a lox, it's a tox, it's a wix, it's a wax. Some doctors do shit. It should not have inside its internal organs another being that is not of that being's origin. Okay, so um, the thing that popped out of the gallbladder of Mel's Wells, like, um, (laughs) basically bovine, the fucking cattle, the sheep essentially 
I don't know what it was. Was it a horse? Was it a dog? Was it a smog? Was it a fog? Um, sheep, bovine. Let me see. Are sheep bovine? If cows are bovine, horses are equine. Or equine. Or <laughs> equine. Okay. What are sheep and goats? Bovidi? Um, and Amelia Bovidi? Or is it Bovidae? Or is it Bovidia? I don't know. Do you know Latin? It looks like Bovidae. The Bovidae are the biological family of the cloven hoofed ruminant mammals that includes bison, African buffalo, water buffalo, antelopes, wildebeest, impala, gazelles, sheep, goats, mucks. Look, m- not, not, not mucks. Musk. Coxen, muskoxen, mm, and domestic cattle. A member of this family is called a bovid or a bovid. What the fuck? Mus. What the fucking Mandela effect shit is this? What the fuck are these things? A muskox, also spelled musk ox and musk ox, is an arctic hooved mammal of the family. Bovidae, noted for its thick coat and for the strong odor emitted during the seasonal rut by males, from which its name derives. This musky odor is used to attract females during mating season. Hmm. Mass, 400 to 900 pounds. Adult. This is, this, dude, this is wiki. Hold on, let me look this shit up. These Mandela CERN fucking beings from DARPA are interesting. Let's get some Latin on this shit. The bovidi. Oh, lifting up his teeth. Looking like humans to me. Family bovidi. Cattle, antelopes, and goats. Ultimate ungulate. Antelopes, guns, bison's definition. Let's go to the bo- Okay, let's look at the definition. We're trying to get some pronunciation here on this Latin shit. On this Latin shit. I mean, I'm pretty sure I already got this shit down. It is bov a d. All right, so I was right the whole time. Bov a d. All right, so my Latin man, I mean, I'll be doing some Latin studies, man. I ain't boasting or tooting horns like do 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 do. Look at my Latin, it's so dope. Do, 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 do. Who does that? Is that Pan? Who's who's the who's that evil figure? I can't remember. I don't know. Is it is it, is it Pan Africanism? Is it? Is it Belzy Bob? Is it is it Beetlejuice? Who does who does? And Dave Chappelle does a little rendition of it. With, he's got hooves. Is it is that who is that? It's like do, 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 do. is that Pan? Is that who the fuck is Pan in mythology? Let's let's Google it. Let's Alexa it. I don't even have Alexa. I'm just joking. But let's Siri Internet fucking. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is a, who is Pan in mythology? According to Wikipedia, in ancient Greek religion and mythology, Pan is the god of the wild, shepherds and flocks, nature of mountain wilds, rustic music and impromptus, and companion of the nymphs. Oh, the nymphs. Word. Um, that's interesting. Going down some dimensional timelines here. Shit's getting weird. I think I've heard of nymphs before. Okay, so Pan, okay, god wild, shepherds, flocks, nature of mountains, wilds, rustic men, impromptu. Is he evil? Is he the devil? Hold on. Is um Pan the devil, Satan, Lucifer? Who is Pan exactly with his flute? Okay, the changing face of Satan. Whether you call him Satan, Lucifer, or Mes- uh, <laughs> Mephistopheles, he's most fallen something, fastcompany.com, changing whatever, August 18, 2014, that's their interpretation. Mm. Peter Pan's Dark Origins, Little Light Studios. Anyway, man, these niggas with their hooves and shit, they just be hooved up, nigga, just like, well, like, electro, like, break down, like, hooved up, break down, so electro, rock, hooved up. What if there were a club called Hooved Up? That shit would be evil. It'd be like, hooved up, come in and rock and pop and lock and shit, hooved up. All night we fucking got bottles for sell real cheap and shit. Hooved up all kinds of ladies, men and niggas type shit. Hooved up type flight, top flight, top flight, nigga devil type shit. You'd be like, whoa, 
this place is evil, dude. Like, I probably shouldn't go in. And then as you're walking away, there'd be, like, all kinds of, like, minions and shit. Like, all kinds of denizens and all kinds of, like, miscreants and heathens. And they would come up and they would, like, have big boobs and, like, nice faces and, like, clear skin. And they would, like, oh, don't mind you leaving. Like, come in. Like, we just want to, like, you know, like the Cenobites and shit from Hell Hellraiser. Just come inside, like, just for, like, five minutes and just see what the club's like, you know. Um, what do they call that shit when they go to strip clubs now? They're like, um, what, what's it called? Like, throwing rice, um, tossing, tossing salad, um, like, oh, no, I'm sorry, making it rain. You know, just come in and make it rain for a couple of minutes or something and just see how it is. And you walk through it and it's like, everything gets cold like an Arctic fucking like cryogenic fucking chamber of like um Sumerian um monarchs that are frozen and shit and so it's just like deathly cold and like what is this and there's no there's nothing in there and it's all dark and you're like where are all the people where are the lights like my eyes something's weird my bones and they're just like welcome to hell (laughs) you know because dude is hellraiser and shit you know because, dude, Cenobites, man, Hellraiser, nigga, for real. Because she was like, popping and locking and something. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Pan, I don't know. I'll, I mean, I, Pan, I don't think Pan is the devil based on what I read. He's just like a friend of the devil or something. Is Pan the devil, Lucifer? And I did not say Pam, motherfucking Google. I said Pan is Pan the devil. It says tan, like T-A-N. Google, get your fucking algorithm tighter, dude. This shit is dumb. Mama said, spray your son's rap metrics. Wow, that's weird. Is Pam the devil Lucifer? And I did not say Pam motherfucking Google. I said, hold up, what does it say? I said, Pan is Pan, the devil. It says Tan, like Tan. Because when I was running the search, it said Tan. Okay, fuck the shit. Is Pan from Greek mythology the goddamn devil? <coughs> All right. Five things you wouldn't believe aren't in the Bible. Okay, I don't care. That doesn't have anything to do right now. I, just answer my question. Okay, wait, 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 hold on. But then it says, started talking up the Greek goat god Pan as the source of the inspiration. That's from crack.com. Um, this pin was discovered, Mistress of the Dead. 59 best pan honored God Satyr. Um, dip, 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 dip. You know what? It doesn't pop up. It's not coming up. I'm looking at images. I'm looking at videos. I'm looking. That's a weirdo. That's an evil motherfucker. Um, let me just ask this. Is pan, is pan the devil? I mean, I know pan's not, but I'm just going to ask this shit. So it takes me to this, there it is with the flute, the history of Pan, Pan's devil. All right, let's go to that. The history of Pan, Pan's devil, devil horns. This nigga certainly has hooves. And this is a website called pansdevilhorns.com. Pan in Greek religion and mythology is the god of shepherds and flocks of mountain wilds, hunting and rustic music, as well as the companion of the nymphs. So that's one citation, one line, scholarly um, from pansdevilhorns.com slash mythology dot php pan is obviously not the devil okay not just clearly not the fucking devil but anyway man um do you even remember what we were talking about like 20 minutes ago on this fucking podcast you have any idea whatsoever i know you don't no, you might. I'm joking. But anyway, man, it's all for entertainment purposes. So if you want to hear the fucking part two of this shit, man, tune in to part two because this is a double split, fucking double slit podcast experiment. Like the double slit experiment. Choose your own adventure. You know what, man? I might here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make I'm gonna make three. I'm gonna make a part three. But I'm not going to call it part three. I'm going to pretend like it doesn't exist. And I'm going to jazz it up just for the double slit experiment. And I'm going to be like, yo, this is episode 60 whatever, right? But then 
it's going to be like, it's not part of the others. And it's going to be weird. And people are going to be like, well, hold on. But he made this one. And then, but this is supposed to be the second part. But he doesn't say anything about a third part. But this is third part. And it has no real relation or congruence or connection or to this. And I'm just going to be like, yeah, nigga. It's like um, Legend of Zelda. It's a secret. It's a secret room. You feel me? <laughs> it's just like a hidden. It's a, it's a, what do they call it in the video games? They're like, it's a secret level, dude. Okay, I'm going to do a secret level on this podcast, man. And the people who are, you know, because we're into some interdimensional shit. And it's like some, you know, I don't want to say a cult because that's weird. And, ah, dude, this is a show where we investigate this shit. But we're not the occult. But um, we're going to explore it. And so what we're going to do. Oh, hi, 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 Android. Hi, iPhone. Hi, Google. Hi, is that, I mean, I don't know who you are, maybe some fucking reptilian fucking entity, Zeta, humanoid, I just see a red light, it's like looking at me, and I'm like, hmm, I realize that my phone is just watching me, which planet are you on, are you on Earth, or are you on the far side of the moon, which is also known as the dark side of the moon, but it's not really the dark side of the moon, it's just called the far side of the moon, I mean, who the fuck are you, man? You you watching humans and shit, man. You got a special little eye in the sky on humans and shit. But what we're going to do is we're going to have a... We're going to do part two of this. And then we're going to do a part three. And in part three, part three is like we don't need to know about part one and two. And it's going to be like some weird shit just for fun. Alright? But if you know about it, you're in on it. And then it makes my point about the occult in that... You know, when it comes to the occult, there's some weird shit. And it's just weird. Yeah. Fucking weird shit. 